and we're live guys welcome to another episode of good morning crypto only here only on ivan on take we are of course broadcasting live straight out of stockholm sweden and we do the show each and every day at 8 a.m central european time guys i come to you like an atomic clock each and every day today we have an amazing juicy enormous episode guys because there's so much to discuss number one we have an interesting analysis on the bitcoin price from peer brand basically how we go from here to 100 Okay. And there is a bullish road we can take, there is a bullish avenue we can blast through, but there is also a bearish avenue we can take a detour through. So 100k is definitely not impossible for Bitcoin in the mid to long term, but in the short term there are different roads we can take there. So that's going to be the first topic. The second topic, unfortunately, is going to be the Matic dump, man, minus 70%. If you hold Matic in the chat right now, I'm sorry for you. Please let us know if you hold Matic, because it this coin has absolutely collapsed, minus 70% in less than an hour, complete carnage, blood on the streets, not a very good day for Matic. We're going to discuss what happened and how this, this could have happened. And obviously, it doesn't look good for Binance because Matic was a Binance IEO. It is very, very supported by Binance. And so many people look at this and they see how can a coin collapse this much? Is it market manipulation? Is it insider trading? Is it insider dumping? What is going on? So that's going to be the second topic. The third topic, extremely important and interesting, whether Justin Sun is buying Steemit. There are some rumors going on in Chinese media, in Chinese websites, in Chinese news outlets that Justin Justin Sun and Tron are actually uh, having an idea to buy Steemit. So it is unconfirmed, but it is very interesting to discuss nonetheless because Justin Sun is expanding like crazy. You know that he bought the Poloniex, uh, bit, um, not, not Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> BitTorrent, <laughs> BitTorrent he also bought, so maybe Steemit is the next step for Justin, and you know that I've been talking about the fact that in a bear market you want to expand, so say what you want about Justin Sun, but he is expanding in a bear market. Then we do have issues in Greece. Man, if you, in, if you live in Greece, you have issues with your cash because you're basically forced to spend 30% of your income electronically or you will be taxed. You will get fines. You will get additional taxes to pay if you do not use your money electronically, if you use cash. It's absolutely insane because there is a war on cash going on. Governments do not want cash. They don't want you to freely transact using cash. They want to control you, they want to have full surveillance over what you do, over your freedoms, and that is exactly why, for example, Greece has now this new rule coming out that you have to spend 30% of, of your income in electronic methods, and if you don't, you will be fined. Basically, you will pay extra taxes. And then finally, guys, we do have Australia. Australia losing its status as open democracy due to their insane pursuit of uh, cryptographic laws, basically to ban cryptography and to allow the government to listen into everything and other topics as well guys i mean as you can see it's juicy it's juicy my my whole notepad is packed with uh, notes and i'm so happy to welcome you all in the chat i see michael gulp joseph w bernard michael cryptogenic martin kriegsman fabric king welcome big shout out to fabric king frank dashwood cardano green vfu burley crypto yoda man love it crypto yoda here sherry murdered solomon i see so many familiar faces also Dimit Dimitar Dimit Dimitri from Bulgaria big shout out to you and Lizette I see you as well not ZY. Welcome as well, guys. Everyone, let me know where you're from. Let me know if you hold Matic because, man, if you do, you have lost 70%. I'm so sorry for you. My sincere condolences to everyone holding Matic. And let me know where you're coming from, guys. Is it Africa, Australia, US, Canada, Antarctica? I'm very, very curious. That being said, we're going to get r straight into the price and uh, also, guys, write what you're drinking. I see Alaska. Nice, nice. I'm drinking black coffee. No milk, no sugar. Vancouver, France. Amazing. I mean, it's global, man. It's global. Now, Bitcoin is minus 1.27%. Uh, Not very good. I mean, we want, of course, to be bullish, but hey, people are making money on the down, down, on the downwards movements as well. 
It's all about whether you're long or short, of course. Ethereum minus um, 1.5, XRP minus 1.97, but look, all of this is peanuts, absolute peanuts, but Chainlink actually pumps 9%, almost 9%, so congrats if you have Chainlink. If you have Matic, though, man, you are in trouble, big trouble. Right now it says minus 50%, but, you know, just a few hours ago it said minus 70%, so it is so significant losses, absolutely insane losses in Matic. We're going to discuss more what happened in this video. Ravencoin minus 20%, also absolute carnage if you have Ravencoin. Engine coin minus 18, but to be honest with you, engine pumped a lot during the past days, so if you held engine uh, a week ago or just like three three days ago or something, you're still, you're still in the green. Verge minus 16, so we do see an old carnage, a lot, a lot of old coins tanking a lot. The winners are Horizon, Chainlink, Steam, Maybe Steam is rising because Justin Sun is maybe buying it. People people have been speculating on the internet. But it is unconfirmed. Zcash 2%. So all in all sideways market. And guys, as you know, when market goes up, when market goes uh, down, people are still making money depending on whether you're long or short. And we do have collaboration with Bybit where you can be long or short. But please be very careful because with uh, Bybit you can also use leverage and it is dangerous if you're not a professional and you do not know what you're doing. But if you would like to try Bybit and support the channel, you can use the link below, bybit.ivontech.com and you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, XRP, you can go long, you can go short, and uh, you can use leverage. But be very careful once again. And at the end of this episode, we're going to give away Academy. But you have to write what you have learned, and you will be in the giveaway tomorrow. And today, we will be giving away Academy for people who were in the giveaway yesterday. And to be in the giveaway, you just need to write what you have learned during this episode. So at the end of the episode, just write what you have learned. A an important thing to note is that there was this hilarious stream yesterday with Richard Hart and Peter McCormack. Uh, I, I don't know, I think... I lost a few brain cells from watching this, but it was so hilarious. <laughs> this is the thing. Many hilarious things are also extremely, extremely non-nutritious uh, for your brain. So th this this was kind of the case because it's not that I learned anything, but if you like crypto drama, definitely check out the link in the description. And it feels like everyone in crypto was watching this because I saw MM Crypto, I saw The Moon, I saw Kevin Svensson, I saw so many people watching the stream and trolling the stream in the chat. It's absolutely insane and if you go to to the description you can find the link and it starts out with um, Richard debating Gian Como but then Peter Cormac jump, <laughs> jumps in <laughs> somehow Peter Cormac got the link to join the stream and he kind of cr crashed the stream and uh, yeah I mean it's funny but you know look you, you will not learn a lot but if you want some funny time go check it out now, let's get into the first topic of the day. The first topic of the day is our journey to 100k. And you know that Peter Brandt is quite famous on Twitter. He's this legendary trader that has a lot of respect in crypto Twitter. He doesn't post a lot, but when he posts, people uh, actually listen. So a few days ago, he posted this. It was really a whole video that he posted. You can also, by the way, find it in the chat. You can find, uh, not in the chat, in the description. You can find the, the link to this video and you can watch it for yourself. Basically, he describes our journey from now to 100k and ahead and how and when it will happen. And then he talks about the fact that, hey, there are different ways we can go to 100k. There is a a bullish route we can take basically that we blast through from now to 100k quite easily I mean quite easily it's still a long way to go <laughs> but still there is a more bullish scenario and a more bearish scenario and what what you have is the following that the more bullish scenario uh, is that we basically find the support very very soon basically at the levels we're at now let me see if i can zoom in good in a good way here he he talks about this uh, long term channel where we're basically now touching down and maybe this is the support where we will blast off from so this is the near term bullish scenario but also there is a near term bearish scenario where he talks about that hey we have violated four parabolas since 2011 and this will end up that we will find a bottom in July 2020 at 5k and so look uh, I mean both of them are possible this is what he said also in the video that look I, I, all of them are possible I, I don't know what will happen and he talked about the fact that he's a reactive trader so he will uh, check how the market develops and then react accordingly because obviously both this scenario that we go to 5k in 2020 and this scenario where we basically blast off from here because we do have this long-term channel they are probable but the most 
most important thing, guys, what is your own mental state at this moment? Like I said yesterday, are you mentally prepared to go to 5K? Because you should, you should. You should not blindly be staring at this 100k number, which, look, in the long term, completely possible. 100% possible we can go to 100k and above. It's not out of the blue that we say 100k. You compare it to currency markets, you compare it to gold markets. I mean, if Bitcoin is to be something in this world, if you think that Bitcoin will change the world to some extent, then 100k is kind of the minimum mark, uh, mark according to me, at least, because then it's still so small market cap, all in all. It is still so, so, so small market cap even if we go to 100 100k if you compare it to other assets i mean man it's not that big if we go to 100k so if you think that bitcoin will be anything in this world 100k is not something something amazing and mind-blowing although it might look like that but in the in the short term 5k absolutely possible and are you prepared because you should be prepared look you should be prepared to go to 5k and even below and even below because if you're not what will happen is that you will sell at those levels and you will exit the market and you will join no coiners and you will start screaming that Bitcoin is a scam. Why? Because when people do not really succeed in their journeys in crypto, for example, they need a way to explain why they quit. And obviously they quit not because they themselves made bad decisions, but because crypto is a scam. That is how human psychology works. You always need to rationalize. You don't want to tell your friends that you actually uh, FOMO'd in and then you sold everything at the bottom and it's your fault. No, no, no. You're going to say that it is a scam. Hey, no, don't stay away from Bitcoin. Stay away from crypto. That is how you're going to explain this to your friends, to your family and your co-workers. Okay. So therefore, everyone who is in crypto needs to be keeping in mind both the bullish and bearish scenarios. And the bullish scenario right now is that, okay, we have this long-term uh, channel. We are basically at the bottom of it. Let's go up to the moon. And the bearish scenario, like, by the way, like we did in, um, uh, in uh, earlier this year. And the bearish scenario is that we actually continue downwards because we broke all of these parabolas and we go to 5k in uh, 2020. All in all, be prepared for both. Moving on to Greece. Let me know if you've been to Greece. I've been to Greece several times. I've been to this uh, <laughs> Russian allies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like it, Mr. Smith. So look, I've been to Greece several times. I've been to this island called Zakynthos, you know, where there is this shipwreck on a, on a beach. So I know quite a bit about the tourist destinations in Greece. Uh, but now we're actually not talking about tourist destinations in Greece. We're talking about their economic situation. Because you understand that Greece is in a big trouble. The biggest trouble in the world, if you really look at different metrics. I mean, one of their biggest troubles is that they have the biggest dark, uh, dark market, so to speak. And when I say dark market, I mean that uh, they have 22% of gross domestic product is of the books it's in the shadow economy and that is the largest in the world <laughs> that is the largest in the world and, and look it's so it's so fascinating to see that 22 percent of the whole economy is of the books it's under the table it is cash but now the government is using this to actually uh, remove the freedoms from people, to take freedoms from people uh, from using cash. Because they basically saying that, hey, because so much of our economy is in the shadow of the books, 22%, we have to do something about it. So they're saying that now you have to spend your money electronically. You absolutely have to spend your money electronically. And uh, at least 30% of your money needs to be spent electronically or you will have to pay extra taxes. So basically they want to raise 500 million million euros through this uh, through this initiative and the whole idea is that uh, you are forced to spend 30 percent of your income electronically or you're gonna pay 22 percent tax on uh, on the part that you did not spend i mean if you are spending the part that you did not um, reach for example, you spend 20% instead of 30, on that 10% you did not uh, complete, uh, you will pay 22% tax. I mean, it's absolutely insane. And so when you do see a failing economy, instead of actually solving the problems, you do see government taking away freedoms from its people. Unfortunately, it is ne never good. Unfortunately, we are going towards a dystopia where the government controls everything, knows everything, they know what you're buying, they know what you're thinking about buying. 
they can stop you from transacting because it's all digital payments. Obviously, if it is all digital, it is just a switch and you cannot buy anything. You cannot buy food, you cannot buy gas. And we've seen it all across the world. I mean, even in Sweden right now, it's it's quite a uh, kind of bad situation as well because cash is seen as something very suspicious. If you come with cash to your bank, uh, number one, they might not be able to take it. Although recently there is a law that they need to take your cash and deposit it, but you will probably be met with many questions, many suspicions, and it will not be an easy process. The same is if you want to take out cash, you want to actually take your money from the bank account and get cash, good luck. It will not happen. It will not happen easily at least. It will be a long process, maybe you will get your cash, but probably not. I mean, probably, I cannot imagine you taking out like, you know, $1 million in cash here in Sweden. Even in the US, that's probably a big, big mess to do it if you want. And all in all, uh, when you see this, when you see this happening, you realize also how important Bitcoin is because Bitcoin is the only thing that is digital where you actually own it and nobody, nobody can control you or restrict you from spending it. So this is why um, Bitcoin is called sometimes on Twitter, at least in crypto Twitter circles, it is called FU money because, hey, you know, somebody tells you you cannot spend money on this, you cannot buy this. Well, F you uh, and so on and so forth. Or, or when people tell you that, hey, you cannot transact with that person or this business. Well, F you. That, that is why Bitcoin is F you money, as it is called. So you realize how important Bitcoin is, especially when we read news like this from Greece. And let me know what you think about this if you actually live in Greece. Uh, let me know if, if how this is going to work out, because also in this article I read that uh, internet usage in, in Greece is very low, at 72% only. This suggests that some in the country could struggle to meet the 30% target, basically spend 30% of your money uh, electronically. If only 72% have internet, you also realize realize that maybe like 40% have actually online banking, if only 72 are using internet. So not all of them are using online banking. There's also only a portion of people that are using online banking. So uh, I don't know how it's going to play out. It's terrible. Now, unofficial source, unofficial news, unofficial rumor, but it's better to know a rumor and know that it is a rumor and realize that it is a rumor and uh, have it at the back of your mind than to not know what's happening and then be shocked by the news. So please keep in mind that what you're seeing on the screen right now is a rumor, non-confirmed, but I think it's better for us knowing it than to not know it. And what you have is that Chinese media, Mars Finance, and really it's all about Chinese community, they are spreading doesn't even man the link doesn't even work so uh, i don't know how legit this is maybe somebody somebody who is in the chinese community can uh, can tell us but basically you have this news that justin sun may be buying steam it and they they are sending out this you know screenshots this and this uh not really sure whether it's true or not could be just fake news but it's better to know than to not know and to be honest with you it wouldn't surprise me i mean he bought poloniex look he bought poloniex if he bought poloniex of course he can buy steam it because Steemit is so much smaller of a project and has so much less significance than an exchange. Although Steemit is amazing, don't get, don't get me wrong, but buying a crypto exchange is a way more bigger deal than buying a crypto social media. It's, you cannot even compare how the, the magnificence and the magnitude of the different deals. So compared to Poloniex, it is a small deal but still non-confirmed and still interesting. And it would just show that Justin Sun is committed to expansion in this bear uh, market. And it's so important because most people in the bear market, they contract, they, they lay off people, they start saving, while uh, the real do dominant players in the market, they want to be even bigger. And you don't even have to be big to do it. Even if you're a small player in the market, you can become more dominant by actually expanding and taking risks in a bear market in the recession. So look, think what you want about Justin Sun. I'm not saying that uh, we all should support Justin Sun, but we should appreciate that he's making moves in the bear market when most people are contracting. And it is a recipe for success, in my opinion, to, to be active in a recession when times are uncertain, because you're taking big risks. Uh, but obviously, Tron is a, is a very interesting project as well, because <laughs> the way they started and the way they have developed, it is so different. I remember I read the first ever Tron white paper. 
uh, it wasn't anything like what we're seeing right now. And also, you, of course, had the uh, allegations about uh, plagiarism. You also had a lot of other allegations as well. But uh, all in all, look, it, at least we have some interesting news and fun news to read about. Let me know what you think about Justin Sun. Uh, I think it's interesting to follow him from a marketing perspective. He is a marketing uh, genius. I don't know if he's a genius or if it is just that he has such a big ego and he does everything to be seen and for people to note him and for people to know him. Look, maybe he's not even a genius. Maybe he's only trying to put his name out there to be seen, to be known. And uh, that, that is why we hear and we read so much about Tron. Maybe it's not even like a media strategy. It is just a natural natural drive to to be known and uh, to have people talking about him like we do right now by the way so let, let me know what you think and nonetheless very interesting news we're gonna follow it but still a rumor still a rumor moving on drinking some tea not tea black coffee guys black coffee no milk no sugar i don't have water today i don't have my hydration today and welcome everyone in the chat man we have 800 uh 28 people watching right now. Sherry uh, says, as a scammer, all right, yeah, I mean, many people say that Justin Sun is a scammer. <laughs> and there is some legitimacy to that, but uh, it's not the full picture. It's not the full picture. Uh, Francis says, taking risk in the bear market is like trading with 100x leverage. Uh, well, I would say trading with 100x leverage is uh, way more risky than taking risks in the bear market in terms of business. But Maybe we can talk about it in Q&A. Let, let's come back to it. I just want to cover this about Matic. Unfortunately, Matic dropped 70% in an hour. 70% in an hour. It was up 180% in two weeks and then crashed 70% in an hour. And also Matic has really performed well after the IEO, during the IEO. Matic has been this project that many people have been discussing, many people have been talking about, and many people made a lot of money on. And there is a lot of FOMO going on in Matic circles, at least was going on, <laughs> at least was going on, not anymore. You had people like this saying that, you know, kinda pissed I took profits on Matic. That shit is still going. What uh, What is going on, basically? <laughs> but then today he said, I'm so happy I took profits <laughs> on Matic because we saw this drop. Um, so as you can see, there is basically zero liquidity in these altcoins. And people are discussing that there is an error with uh, uh, with the market makers they were using because all altcoins, they have to use liquidity providers. They have to have market makers because if they don't, this is what will happen. This is what, what, what the market will do if you don't have liquidity providers. So who knows what really happened? There are many rumors. I mean, one of the rumors is that the team dumped. Uh, the, C the CEO of Binance CZ says that the team has clearly nothing to do with it, but at the same time, people on um, uh, Telegram are speculating that maybe it was the team, because the team unlocked a lot of tokens right before the dump and transferred to Binance. Could be a coincidence, or maybe not a coincidence, who knows, but here, here is a question somebody asked in their Telegram, why team transferred token to Binance? This was right after the unlock. And then Sandeep from Matic Network said that please calculate the net amount transfer to all addresses and check with our unlock release schedule so he basically said hey we have the unlock release schedule then we transfer them to binance and uh, if you uh, go through the numbers you see that they they will match so that is a theory we don't know uh, cz says that this theory is not correct because uh he somehow clearly knows that magic team has nothing to do with it and as Alexandre Dreyfus, who is, by the way, head of Chili's, which we had on the channel, I think it's... I like Alexandre, man. I met him in... Um, when was it? In, uh, in, in, in Singapore recently. Uh, and then I had him on the channel. He's a very nice guy. He has the Chili's. And he said that clear because Binance can check Matic wallets inside Binance. So he said that the reason why CZ says it is because they know which wallets belong to the team and uh, which uh, wallets don't belong to the team. So according to C CZ, then the, the wallets that the team controls were not involved in this. So instead he's saying a number of big traders panicked, causing a cycle. Going to be a tough call on how much an exchange should, should interfere with people's trading. But also, apparently, I mean, I guess, I guess the market maker simply stopped. Simply stopped and then you had um, a sell orders just uh, crashing through the order books and uh, crashing the price with 70%. 
uh, who knows? I think we will never know for sure because, uh, uh, I mean, those things are usually not disclosed what exactly happened because somebody messed up. We're going to see how it is or it is just uh, normal market uh, market forces, normal market forces. But at the same time, it looks a bit strange that they have been performing so well for the whole year. People are so excited. They have this technology that people like. They have all of these things going for them. Suddenly, in less than an hour, 70% dump. It doesn't seem right. Something is not right. Uh, let me know if you agree or disagree. Uh, but we can only speculate. We can only speculate. And let me know if you whole have, um, if you have, uh, if you have Matic or not. Bob Ross. Shout out to Bob Ross, by the way. It was a long time ago, but I did uh, watch some Bob Ross. I had it in the background. The, the drawing videos of Bob Ross uh, when he was drawing. Uh, well, somebody is behind this. Big traders, huh? Um, well, somebody with money is behind this, for sure. Whether it is big trader, whether it is a market maker that did not work out, uh, who knows? Now, the next topic is about Australia, because Australia is in trouble. They went from open to narrowed democracy in an international study. You know that some countries are open democracies, like uh, Germany, Sweden, but that is also... I mean, it's uh, all uh, subjective. This is not objective. Uh, is some people might say that Sweden is way less democratic than the US. Because in the US, you have Texas where you can have guns and uh, you have so, many, so much individual freedoms. While in Sweden, there is no way to have guns. If you're not a hunter, that is maybe the only way to get a gun here. <laughs> if, you, if you have the hunting license. So they claim that some countries like United Kingdom are narrow democracies. And some countries like uh, Canada, Sweden, then, so it's all subjective. But anyway, in this subjective uh, measurement, Australia went from open to narrow uh, democracy. Why? Because they are messing around with uh, encryption laws. They are <clears throat> they are wanting to ban, for example, end-to-end -end encryption. It was this funny saying from their either prime minister or some kind of official when he was asked, how are you going to stop end-to-end -end encryption? Because end-to-end -end encryption is actually just math. So there's no way to enforce it. How would you enforce someone using math? And it was so funny because that guy, I think it was the prime minister, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but he said, uh, well, in Australia, the laws of Australia apply, not the rules of math. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. R he basically said something like, rules of math are very honorable, but in Australia, r the laws of Australia apply. Uh, so now he is downgraded from open to narrow democracy. Let me know if you're watching from Australia. Shout out to all, all Australians in rocking in the chat. Uh, maybe I should ask Nugget News about this. Alex from Nugget News. Maybe he knows this a, a bit better. But all in all, it's going to be a trend all across the world. That governments are going to come after encryption. They're going to come after individual freedoms. Why? Because we're becoming more and more digital. And in a more digital world, people are more easily controlled and tracked. Of course, of course, of course, of course. That is why the only thing that stops this development in this digital world is Bitcoin. So once again, when I'm looking at the market, I'm looking at what's happening in the world. It is so clear that Bitcoin is important. You see all of this going on and Bitcoin is the only antidote to this whole mess. And therefore, when people are discussing 100k, there are some people who say that it's completely insane that we will go to 100k. So for example, when Peter Brand talks about 100k, people are saying, hey, you know, why are you FOMOing in people? This is unreasonable. This is too much. It's, it's imaginary numbers. But at the same time, look at the market cap if we go to 100k. Uh, it's not that big if Bitcoin really solves any of the big problems that Bitcoin is set out to solve. So that is that is the calculation you need to be keeping in mind. And then finally, a, an interesting thing from uh, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision Twitter. <laughs> you have Rob uh, from Crypto Bobby uh, coming out and saying that BSV Twitter is a site to behold. Because basically on their Twitter, I mean, in this community that they have, they're talking about the fact that if YouTubers promote BTC but do not tell BSV, Bitcoin SV is the real original Bitcoin, they will become liable for consumer fraud. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's insane. It's insane. I, I don't know what kind of uh, mindset you gotta have to believe these things. 
uh, but hey guys just so you know uh, maybe i should be adding disclaimers <laughs> let me know if you agree or disagree but you, you i mean the convoluted mind mindset the mental gymnastics you have to go through to believe this kind of crap it's absolutely insane absolutely insane but this is the narratives that are being pushed and it's interesting that some people actually follow it and believe it uh, but we all saw what happened with roger ver because he was actually sued for marketing bitcoin cash as bitcoin so i don't know who should be talking maybe bsv, BSV boom should be sued for for making these claims that bitcoin sv is real original bitcoin just like roger ver was sued when he on bitcoin.com uh, marketed bitcoin cash uh, as bitcoin and and uh, look, uh, Bitcoin is Bitcoin and everything else is, is an altcoin. Now, there are some good, good altcoins. Not all altcoins are bad. There are some fantastic altcoins. I'm sure we will see many new great altcoins. But this conversation that we're still having, what is original Bitcoin? What is not original Bitcoin? I hope we will not have to talk about it for so long because... Now everyone has what they wanted. This is the br brilliant thing with crypto. Everyone gets what they what they want. So if you look at uh, coin market, I mean, if you want bigger blocks, you have Bitcoin Cash. If you want to have bigger blocks and uh, this community, you can go to Bitcoin SV. Uh, now, should they be called Bitcoin? It's a whole other story. I mean, obviously nobody likes that they're calling themselves Bitcoin, but at the same time, there's nothing to do. Really, there's nothing to do. And so, if you don't like Bitcoin, you you have other choices if you don't want to build on bitcoin build on something else so i think the debate is settled we are finished with discussion everyone got what they wanted congrats everyone um that being said giving away academy to mosmos who said that i learned that i need to use the phrase learned and not learned yes yeah, so i mean the reason why i picked this is because this is very important guys when if you want to be in the giveaway for the academy you have to use the word learned like this in the in the comments so if you comment what you have learned during this episode in the comments you will be in the giveaway tomorrow but he also highlighted that some people say learned with with um, t learned i had no clue that you you say so apparently some kind of british uh, way to write learned i, I don't know uh, i'm not the english professional to be honest with you uh, but you probably have heard it by now by the way i speak but look I, I thought that this was the only way to write it, but apparently you can also write learned, but you have to write learned with D. But anyway, he says that if I'm trying to win the Academy membership prize, otherwise my comment will not be picked up. Exactly. Big picture plus details. Previously, I thought I was getting closer to the printer, but I wasn't plugged in. Uh, let's see. I, th I think you had a bigger comment here. You're talking about the printer, the fact that you got to be close to the production of money in our unfair central bank system. It is completely true. And now you will be part of the academy. Please email me contact at ivanontech.com and I will be adding you to the academy. And of course, as always, guys, please invest in yourself. Join the academy, academy at uh, .ivanontech.com. And if you are new, take this blockchain 101, 10 hours, then you can jump to new blockchain developer, learn programming from scratch, then program on EOS and Ethereum, 40 hours, content only. And then you do have exams, assignments, so many different things. And then you can go to Bitcoin programming and other things. Guys, be a builder in this space because the most successful Successful people in the space are actually are actually builders. They're they're not not traders. Look at the billionaires in the space. They have built something. So this the best strategy for survival and uh, and uh, the best strategy for uh, for really making the best out of the opportunities that crypto present to you is to actually be a builder. Uh, Ed, what's up, Ed? <laughs> My biggest Bitcoin SV supporter. Shout out to you, but hey, man, please take it easy in the chat. Take it easy in the chat. <laughs> See, I, I don't know what Ed will say about this. I, I guess Ed agrees with this message that everyone needs to have disclaimer. Learned isn't a fork from learned, right? <laughs> I learned from Stockholm streamer that lost my corrupt government. Ah, wow, you're from Australia or from Greece. Uh, which one is it? We discussed the Greece and we discussed Australia. Let me know which one you are. <laughs> uh, like Ratchet is a four. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we, we are studying English here. Learned is US English. Rest of the world is learned. Get an education. <laughs> Maybe I should get English education. Look, the thing is, if you watch my videos from the early days, you will understand how far I've come in my English due to YouTube. 
I mean, understand, due to YouTube has basically took my, taken my English to all time highs. I don't know why, but I did not really speak English a lot before YouTube. And that is, by the way, how I managed to grow the YouTube channel, because I have the mindset that I don't have to be successful in terms of subscribers or in terms of viewers. I just do video every day because I need to train uh, and, and, and improve my English, because I actually had some uh, some periods at work where I needed to speak English and I did not really feel secure. Like, man, now I can speak English securely. I don't even care that it doesn't sound very, very English. People understand that that is the most important thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't have thousands of people watching. But in 2015, 16, I had this big, big task to improve English. So that is why I use YouTube to do it. And I thought, okay, if nobody watches, at least I will improve my English. So it's an important, an important thing to, to learn. Your English is... Thanks, thanks, thanks. Learned is right. Uh, yeah, it's right, it's right. And uh, everyone is, is studying um, US English, uh, except for maybe people in Russia and Belarus, because when I went to school in Belarus, we learned UK English. And it is very, very strange, because most people in the world, they, they learn um, US English. And you, when you live in Russia and Belarus, you also get exposed through media, mostly to US English. But in school, they teach you UK English. So when you study English in Russia and Belarus, I mean, your mind gets absolutely convoluted, because you get two different uh, versions of English. and But maybe the biggest issue there is that even the English teachers don't know English. The, I mean, that is maybe the most funny thing. Because I remember all the English teachers I had in Belarus, th they didn't know English. They only knew from the books and they I, I don't know if they ever even spoke to an English person or English speaking person in their lives, to be honest with you. That, that is the biggest issue. Your English improvement, yes, it is crazy. Wonderful. Thanks. 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 Uh, hey, dude, your English is perfect. Thanks. 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 English is don't. Thanks. 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 Learned is not a word. In <laughs> uh, don't ask me. Don't ask me. I cannot uh, deny nor confirm this, this statement. I don't even care. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That is how everyone should be, because if you care too much, it's, it's still impossible. If you, if you don't learn English in early years, it's look, you just got to accept it that you're not going to learn it uh, in, uh, in the best way possible. So as long as people understand it, it's perfect. Learned that learned is English. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, enough of English. Let, let's go to let's go to crypto. Let's go to crypto. Scandinavian English rule. Yes, I know. I know. People get shocked when they hear my English because they think that all Scandinavia has great English. And it is true. It is true. But my English, it's not Scandinavian. It is Ivan on take certified copyrighted English. I haven't heard anyone speak like I do because my English is a mix of like American, UK, Belarus, Russia, Sweden. It's a bit of, of everything. So that is why I have copyrighted it. And, and it is Ivan on take English confirmed. Let me hear your native tongue. Sometimes I, I speak Russian, if you if you understand it. I, I've been speaking Russian on this channel. For people not coming from England, the more we speak fluently in English, the more manifest ethnos... Uh, okay, okay. We, we don't have to take it... Look, uh, colonial mentality, uh, don't think about that. English is important as a world language and that's it. T too much history is, 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 not, uh, uh, is not beneficial. But yes, maybe you're correct in some, in some regards. Uh, yes, good sense of humor. That's that's how you gotta be on YouTube. You, you gotta have some humor. Uh, Cardano Green is sleeping. Cardano, ask me something about crypto. Uh, ask me something about crypto, I will wake you up. Indian English, it is. It is. <laughs> One of the most funny accents is Indian. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. Speak a little of a... Sp I can't. I can't. Look, uh, I, I, that is the thing. People want me to do Swedish accent. Uh, if, if, I, if I could, maybe I would speak like that. But uh, I, I'm stuck with Ivan on Take English Certified. It is a cross-chain... <laughs> My English is a cross-chain fork. Exactly. How is Tron? Tron is expanding like crazy. You do see Poloniex, you do see BitTorrent, you do see maybe Simit, it is unconfirmed, but it is maybe on the on the map. Uh, now, in terms of technology, uh, look, in terms of marketing, they are amazing. In terms of technology, that is a bigger question. And in terms of development community, they're also struggling. So TechSite, uh, it's okay. It's not like the best, it's not the worst, it's okay. But in terms of uh, making bold claims, bold acquisitions, they are killing it. Isn't it right that you speak German? No, 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 we speak Swedish. In Switzerland, they speak German and French. In Sweden, you speak Swedish. But in, in school, you learn German. So, ich, ich spreche Deutsch. Uh, ein bisschen Deutsch, okay? Uh, jawohl. Um, 
what do you think about Raven? I've been mining it for years. I think actually Raven has a great community, to be honest with you. I see so many people who are kind of Bitcoin maximalists, but they still have Raven. I have a friend here in Stockholm. He loves Ravencoin, but he's also kind of like a maximalist. So they have successfully created a community that is very excited about Ravencoin. So in that sense, it is, it is very good. And then, of course, you can issue assets. You can do all of that good stuff. Um, so the only thing that is missing now, as with most coins is uh, the project is building on top uh justin sun is not ah, okay right 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 uh yeah your your previous comment like 15 minutes ago i remember justin chinese uh, hustle <laughs> maybe maybe any upcoming interviews i want to interview well chris you're i know what you're asking yeah i know what you're asking well, nexus we will do we will do i need to answer to them but uh, then we also have um, Samson Mao. I need to reach out to him. He was very interesting in uh, Singapore. I met him in person. Then we're going to have... Uh, oh, Ben Gertzel. He's confirmed for December 20th. Ben Gertzel, just so you know. I know people have been uh, rising so much about, uh, about Ben. So he's going to come. Uh, but Chris, I'm doing Nexus only for you. Because I haven't seen a lot of requests for Nexus. So j just keep it in mind, okay? <laughs> I'm going to do Nexus for Chris Hamsch. Skirk. Uh, yeah. DeFi course is coming. We, we will do it. We will add it. The next courses are uh, Ethereum development. That, that is a bit deeper. And then we're going to have another course about Ethereum project development, like more complete, how you go from zero to a full project. And after that, we we will do DeFi. That is a good idea. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here yet again. Thank you so much for contributing to the to this to the stream. It's amazing to have the chat. Man, without the chat, it wouldn't be nearly as interesting to do to do this. My job wouldn't be nearly as interesting. So thank you so much. Big shout out to you. I appreciate you. And I hope you learned something. Please let me know if you've learned something or learned. Learned or learned? Please be specific which one it is. Uh, and I hope you are a bit smarter now compared to when we started the stream. That being said, I'll see you all very, very soon. I see you all on uh, uh, tomorrow, 8 a.m. Central European time. Have a great, great day and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Smash the like, smash the bell, smash the uh, comment section, write something and goodbye, guys. Check out Bybit, check out Bybit. Let me do some shilling at the end. Uh, check out Bybit, $90 for free. You can do long, you can do short, you can do leverage with Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, XRP, but be careful with leverage. You gotta be careful and join Academy, academy.iontech.com. Okay, thank you for listening to my shilling and now I'm, I'm out of here. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Click the links below.